Grade here with another World of Tanks replay. Yep, it's another Matilda. I did say I love this tank. Love the gun, love the armor. Don't mind the speed. Uh, here we are on Prov, and that's all I'm going to say because I can't pronounce the name of this map. Uh, all Tier 4 matchup, which means I'm going to be playing my Matilda like a heavy, and probably not going to be caring much what faces off against me. Going to be going up the 2 line in the, the bushes. Uh, usually that's where I take my heavies on this map. Um, I don't like pushing over on the other side unless uh, too many people come over this way, but the, the distribution of this, uh, this round looks good. And here comes our first catch of the day. It's uh, the enemy PZ-3. Look at this. Boom! I don't know what he was expecting out of that. Uh, three shots out, secure the kill. Uh, that was at about 506 meters, which shows the phenomenal accuracy of this gun at this tier. It's got a .36 accuracy, which I believe is one of the highest for a tier 4 tank, if not the highest, which lets me really dominate pretty much everything over to those tracks. As long as my, uh, my allies sight it, I can hit it. Look at this small target, 335 meters out, missed the first shot, hit the second, hit the third, and secure the kill. Try to pick up uh, some shots on this VK, but with the undulations he gets away from me, and I can't really see through the bushes, so I don't take any more shots. Two targets lined up here, which uh, means I don't care if I miss the first one, I'll probably hit the second one. Switch over to the PZ-38 here. I don't know why, but the uh, the Valentine wasn't going anywhere, so I went back to pick up the kill on that one. But I bounce a few shots for adjusting and finally getting a kill on him. Now the Stuart's going to dis... There he goes. He disappears. With the ammo capacity of this tank, I can fire blind and secure kills just like that. Now, for whatever reason, people... I think don't understand exactly how fast they're getting hit by a Matilda. Um, two of those kills just recently, the uh, UE-57 and the Stewart was basically three shots. Uh, until I hit them the first time, they don't know that I'm, I'm going to hit them. They basically have four seconds to figure out what, <laughs> where they're getting hit from, where they can move, and then, uh, and then move to get out of the way. Uh, even though this gun has low alpha, that fast fire rate means you can secure kills. Hit. I don't know what damage I did to this Electo, hit. nor the range, but I hit him two out of three times pretty much, I would call it about 600 meters. If... It, yeah, well, I think the max draw distance is supposed to be 500, but I'm seeing things out just past 500, so... Punch through that B1, but uh, bounce the last turn, he goes under the ridge. Now, I'm scouting forward because my scouts are dead, have been for a while. And I'm worried about getting close to that uh, 2001 marker. I'm not sure where everyone is, but I know they're going to be popping up here pretty soon. 592 on that Electo. And he bring, bounces off the ridge. So I keep moving forward. Props to my M8 and Electo back there letting me scout like they were. I didn't realize that Sixth Sense was from this Hetzer. But once he fired, I saw him. And again, phenomenal pen on this gun. I'm just going to punch through his armor. Now I take a couple of blind shots to try to secure the kill. 
My armor bounces a few shots, but uh, he displaces, and I can't really pick, uh, pick up the kill. But this VK, coming up the ridge line, I can take that kill. And then over to the Hetzer. I don't penetrate every shot. Uh, obviously, angling does matter, but pretty much every shot that I'm going to put out in a Tier 4 match is going to pen, which uh, lets me spam a bit more than I really should. Now I'm hunting for this Matilda marker. I'm, I know there's no one behind me, so I'm looking uh, to see where they've moved across the field. And I missed that PZ-38. I'm just doo -doo -doo, going forward. Who cares? And then I spot him. Don't get the kill, but two shots, good enough for me. There's the Matilda. Now that Electo gets me. Kills my gunner and my turret. Now I don't repair either of them right away. Uh, since I do not play on a premium account, uh, credits are a bit harder to come by and I'm a little more frugal. <laughs> Shooting at the wrong bush there. So I don't repair them right away. Uh, because 3,000 credits it will eat uh, a third of the profits I'm going to get from this match, probably. This is when I notice my turret is kind of toasted. And there I repair it. Ricochet. Even with the gunner out, the accuracy on this guy is just great. But not enough to blind fire on this Hetzer. Electo takes out the B1. I'm coming up here kind of looking for that uh, M37. I know this PZ1 was back there, but not much I could do about him until he came to me. And this is where not repairing my crew really bites me. To the side, right over his head. Finally secure the kill. However, I will have you, Electo. If only I could have gotten him sooner. Now, I know that Hetzer is uh, behind me. I'm pretty sure the M37 is in A1 or A0. I don't care where he is. Um, I'm not going to go hunting for him in this tank. He's got to come to me. Especially not as damaged as the tank is, he could probably one-shot me. Hatzer gets lit up, and again, even with the gunner dead, look at the accuracy of this gun. 278 meters. There's three. There's four. Now this was the first round that I had six cents on uh, my Matilda. I wasn't used to it. And up until this point, I really didn't care that Sixth Sense went off. But now, I'm waiting for it to go off because of that M37. I know once it goes off, he's the only one that can spot me, which means he's probably going to be zeroing in on me. And our Electo and M37 aren't going to go hunting for him, so we're just going to take the cap. And there he spotted me. They stop, he shoots, we light him up, and again, not repairing their crewman is going to cost me here. One over his head, one into him, blind fire, and then the M37 finishes him off. 
So here are those post-game stats for that Matilda round. We see 26,000 coin. Uh, as I said, I don't run a premium. It's not that I don't want to support the game. Obviously, I've got some uh, premium tanks down there. I just don't have it active right now. So uh, getting 26,000 coin was, was very welcome out of this round. Obviously, my prediction of uh, using that med kit to uh, heal up my gunner, eating up a third of my profits, was a bit unfounded. 7,500 XP. This was on a times five weekend, and uh, there was also an event which uh, gave me 50% more XP if I'm the top gun, which if we go to the second screen, obviously with that performance, I'm going to be the top gun. But I, uh, it was actually a 1,063 XP performance. Uh, final screen, 63 shots fired, 47 hit. Uh, just shows you the accuracy of that gun. I was blind firing in there a couple of times. Also, I was shooting clear across the map, long range shots. So that definitely highlights the accuracy of that gun. 38 penetrations on top of those 48 direct hits. Like I said, pretty much what I'm shooting at, I'm going to pen uh, quite a lot of the time. Uh, enemies damaged 14. One enemy out there. Uh, avoided the wrath of my gun. I don't know which one it was, but curses! I was hoping for a, a clean sweep there. Anyway, I, I love, love, love this tank. Uh, I, I know it probably bordering on a little seal clubbing, but really, I think tier 4 is about where people start collecting tanks. Um, I'll go into rounds and I'll see people that uh, that are clearly they're, even though they have thousands of games under their belt, they're they're not newbies. They're they're there because they love the tanks, and and I love this Matilda. It is my favorite tank. It all comes down to that gun, that just just tears everything apart. Anyway, uh, hope you enjoyed this this playback, and uh, we'll catch you later. Have fun.